Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jill with At Home with Jill, and I have another cleaning video for you today. Cleaning and decluttering and I don't know, a little bit of deep cleaning. Um, so in this part, I'm just taking all of the throw pillow covers off and throwing all of the blankets into a pile with those because I'm going to be washing them. Um, I have to wash the blankets like once a week just because, you know, we have a dog and our dog cuddles in the blankets and they just get gross. You know, blankets just get gross. Um, so, and they get used a lot and they end up on the floor a lot. And so anyway, I like to wash the blankets at least once a week. Um, and today I was washing them with a tiny bit of bleach because we are dealing with a flea infestation right now. Um, I have ordered the like pills for my dog, um, the flea pills that you chew up and not you, but your dog. Um, because that is what I used to have in the past, like for a dog I used to have and, um, they worked great. So anyway, I ordered those. They haven't come yet. Can't wait. I really hope it works. Um, we are just having a heck of a time getting rid of the fleas just with flea baths every other day, vacuuming nonstop. Like it's, so much work and it doesn't seem to be helping at all. Um, but anyway, okay. So now this is the next day because the day before I ended up not being able to get anything else done after school. Um, which was my plan. Like when I finish school, I film and then, you know, blah, blah, blah. But yesterday after school, I literally was exhausted and I had a horrible headache. So I'm getting off of gluten again. I'm actually gluten intolerant and I'm not supposed to be eating it. And I've been back on it for a while and it causes a lot of inflammation. It causes me to gain weight. It just causes a lot of issues. Um, right here, I'm showing you like what the couches looked like right now, and then I'm going to flip over the cushion so that it's on like the part that's not sat on and show you the difference compared to how they look now. Look at that. Isn't that disgusting? Like, look how the, look at the color difference. Um, and there's even a shadow on that part, but anyway, okay, so <clears throat> So I'm getting back off of gluten and I actually, my body goes through withdrawals when I get off gluten um, and I'm going through that right now. So I like, I get sick. It's weird. I get headaches. I get kind of like flu-like symptoms. And so I've just been really tired and really like just not feeling great. So yesterday after school, I, en I ended up not doing anything productive besides um, taking my daughter to gymnastics. Well, actually, we went to piano for my son and then g gymnastics. But other than that, I just could not make myself do anything. And we had a sink full of dishes yesterday. I didn't do them. I didn't delegate them out to anybody. Actually, I, I told Cade yesterday before we went to piano and gymnastics, I said, hey, if you help, if you pay for half of getting pizza for dinner tonight, then I will do all the dishes. If you don't want to help pay half for, p for having pizza for dinner, then you get to do the dishes while I cook dinner. And so he was like, oh, I will gladly help you pay for pizza for dinner. So him and I split the cost of pizza for dinner because you know what? Like he, the dishes are his chore, but like, I, like the dishes were such an overwhelming amount that like I didn't even want him to do them. I wanted to do them. 
Um, and so I just felt like it was a good, like little bargain and he was happy and I was happy and yeah. So anyway, um, well, okay. What was I going to say? Okay. Anyway, now I'm putting all of my couch cushion covers into the washing machine and I was terrified to add a tiny bit of bleach to these just because, um, I have no idea how, if they would like hold up after that and you know, it's expensive and everything. So I didn't want to take the chance. So I just added Tide in with it. I never usually use Tide. I only have it because I use it as a cleaner sometimes. Like I'll mix it with warm water and like wash the walls with it or whatever. I like to mop with it sometimes but I don't use it for laundry because we're allergic to it, but I'm hoping it'll be fine with it being on the couch and not like on our actual clothes, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, now that I'm sitting here on the couch editing, I'm kind of thinking it was a bad idea because my throat is feeling very like, like I almost feel like my throat is having a reaction to the tide right now, but it's okay. It's fine. Okay, so anyway, so this is Thursday now. Um, this is after school, and the kids are cleaning up the homeschool messes and putting all of their stuff away. And yeah. My head space, a week or it's been waiting for the right day. Like the right day ever comes, now it's Friday. And I It's a sour taste, in it? It's a sour taste To be fooled again, honey To be fooled again Stole my heart and ripped it into pieces Yes, you did You know it's not the way I planned No, it's not the way I wanted No, it's not the things I meant Know that I'm not being honest Not the way I wanted I still miss it
I made a super lazy dinner tonight. Um, I mean, I made spaghetti, which is fine, but like I used a way too small of pan to cook the noodles because I didn't want to wash the big giant one. And then the sauce was just like, I just threw it together. Like I didn't even try hard. And it's so funny because my kids were literally ranting and raving about how delicious the spaghetti was. And it was like the least amount of effort I put into it. Um, and the noodle, the, bleh, the noodles were like one big, like, like pan shaped blob <laughs> because it was too small, right? So there wasn't enough water. So by the time it was done boiling, there was no water to even dump out. All the noodles soaked up all the water. Like it was just, yeah. But the reason why I was so like, I didn't care is because my husband went out to dinner with his friend. And, um, so I knew I didn't have to feed my husband and it was just for my kids because I couldn't eat spaghetti so I was just like trying to get it done quickly and be done with it. Um, but now I'm just finishing up um, the rest of the dishes so that I can shut down the kitchen for the night. Um, this was right after dinner and my kids were like getting ready for bed and everything. And this I'm still so you guys today's dishes that I did. Actually, I only filmed round two of dishes. I did a first round earlier in the day this day. Um, and I didn't film that, but I had three days of dishes to do today and it was awful. It sucked. Don't ever do that to yourself. Um, it is a huge problem that I attribute to ADHD. 
Um, I would rather do anything else other than dishes. And so a lot of times when I know the dishes need to be done, I will find something else to do to busy myself. (laughs) And someone in my comments on Instagram called it um, uh, productive procrastination. And I was like, that is perfect. Literally, it's like I was being productive by taking all the couch cushion covers off to wash but I was procrastinating doing the dishes. So it was a productive procrastination. (laughs) Um, But anyway, yeah. So, and the first round of dishes that I did, which made the world of a difference, only took me 30 minutes. And I'm like, why couldn't I have done that in the morning or the day before? Like 30 minutes, that's it. And I put it off and put it off and put it off for so long. I just, I don't know why I do it to myself. But all that to say, I have decided to make a doctor appointment and just talk about ADHD and maybe think about trying medication just for a little while just to see if it helps me and if I notice just negative effects and it's not really helping much, then I'm going to get off of it. Like I hate medication unless you need it. Like I and I don't want to have to be on medication, but I'm really just starting to feel like I'm drowning at home and ADHD is hard. Like it makes my job really hard because like I could have a day where I'm just like zooming around, getting so much done. Like on those days, like I don't even remember to eat. Like I am just busy okay, and focused on one thing, like hyper-focused really is what it is, but then there could be days and days after a day like that where I literally can't bring myself to do anything, like any routine chore is so hard to do, I don't know why, but it's, it's part of this, um, it's part of ADHD, and it's, it's hard, Um, so anyway, I'm just kind of at that point where like, I want to at least give it a try and see how it makes me feel, see how it helps me with my job as a homemaker and a mom, a homeschool mom. Um, so I'm just curious and yeah, let me know in the comments if you are on anything like that. Yay. Now all I have to do in the morning is wash those and dry them put that away because that's washed it's just drying and then empty the dishwasher and my son just brought in more eggs but there she is ready for bed and now the absolute last thing that I want to do right now is put covers on but I'm just gonna put enough on that I can get comfy and then I'll do the rest tomorrow Okay, so you may or may not have noticed that I did not wash the ottoman covers. Um, First of all, I didn't want the load to get too big. And the, the seat and back covers was like the perfect amount. They all fit in one load, but I wouldn't have been able to put anything more in there. Um, but anyway, taking this stuff on and off is the literal biggest pain in the butt ever. Um, I never want to do it again, honestly. So I'm going to do a little experiment. Um, I have an upholstery like shampoo machine thing, like carpet shampooer slash upholstery shampooer. And so I'm going to try and do the ottoman with that tomorrow the two ottomans with my shampooer and see how that goes because if that goes well then I'll probably do that with the whole couch from now on instead of taking these on and off because I literally never want to do this again and granted it's been a year since I've had this couch so this is the first time I've done this in one year So that's not too bad. Like once a year doing this, it's not bad. But if I need to clean them in between, I'm going to try the carpet shampooer. Um, It's definitely great for like spot cleaning too. I really want to do my dining chairs with it. I've been wanting to do that for a while now. 
Um, I want to bust out my steamer that I got for Christmas and I want to wash my windows with it. I have so much stuff that's been on my mind lately of things that I want to do around the house and I have not had time. I've been so busy. Also, speaking of that, I am so close to being done in the front bathroom. Like, I think I can get it finished tomorrow. So that is very exciting. Um, but yeah, so I only did, um, six cushions and then my husband and I relaxed to watch a show and now I'm editing this and tomorrow morning I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine covers to put on tomorrow. So, uh, it sounds exhausting, but all right. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Love y'all. Bye.